Hello there, Libra. Welcome to July. This is your three cards for the month of July. We have two eclipses this month, so there could be lots of changes. And um, when one door opens, one closes. When one closes, one opens. So we're expecting with a solar eclipse on the 13th and a lunar eclipse on the 27th, there could be a lot of changes. So let's take a look for you. We're going to burn the sage first of all. Just imagine that the sage is all around you as it is around me. Cleansing and purifying and we're going to clean the cards as well. And let's just see what the month has in store for you. Three cards, here we go. Your first card is the lovers. Look at that. Second card is the King of Swords. Third card, the Queen of Cups. Well, so this is very clear. The Lovers is sometimes love and sometimes just partnerships. So if this uh, doesn't apply romantically, then try to think about it in terms of colleagues or friends or anybody that you might be collaborating with, any partnership that's close. And if it's love, then, okay. So the lovers can also mean sometimes we have just choices to make and that we're weighing things, um, seeing the good, seeing the bad, which is it? You know, it's, it's a Gemini card, it's duality. Now, you have the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups, so how would they be as a couple? Maybe you'll recognize yourself as one or the other. The King of Swords is usually a little bit older, and sometimes that doesn't mean age-wise. He could be an old soul or very mature. He's very smart, very smart. He's very clever, and sometimes he can be, uh, you know, all the way to the side of, like, the sociopath or the narcissist kind of clever. He's really calculating. But if he's your average person and he doesn't have any of those red flags, then he's just a super intelligent, uh, sophisticated, uh, mentally sophisticated person. Now, he doesn't like to deal with emotions very much. doesn't mean that he can't be romantic, but it might be more in terms of, you know, what he likes to do together with you or how he talks to you. A lot of it will be on the mental plane versus the emotional. Now, the Queen of Cups is the opposite of that. She's like a Cancer or a Scorpio or a Pisces, she's in her thoughts more in, a, in, a, in an emotional way, in a nostalgic way. She's more intuitive, she's sensitive, she's nurturing, she's motherly. So the two, these two as a couple could complement each other if there's a good respect. Hi Libra, sorry about the pause. So, yeah, the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords are sometimes complementary to each other if there's a good compromise and respect and good communication, then it's sort of your classic couple of, you know, the um, professional cerebral man who is providing and protecting and out and about in the world, more gregarious, and then the quieter supporting role, nurturer, uh, intuitive woman in, who um, cares for people more in, in a silent or in the background. Um, you know, some, some couples, I might not be describing it in, in the best way either, some, some of those couples can work out amazingly and other times this is, as you know, uh, this traditional model is not going to work. So you got to take a look then with the lovers where this might be showing up in other partnerships for you this month. Is this the way you're getting along between you and a family member? A traditional roles kind of relationship. Is this the way you're getting along with um, a colleague or a boss? And to examine who's sort of the feeler and who's sort of the thinker. And who's in the background versus who's out front. But, um, the overall feeling that I get is that you're experimenting with new sides of yourself 
in relationships this month. So maybe you're ready to break an old mold of how you have been before. And that includes romance, but also partnerships in general. Maybe you're testing your new limits. You're acting or expressing in ways you didn't used to. Maybe you don't want to play certain roles anymore. Maybe you want someone else who also just does things differently than, than before. That's the overall feeling I'm getting. That this month is sort of experimental and playful when it comes to your partnerships. With um, two eclipses coming, as, as I've mentioned, you might see people come and go. You might see people pop up from the past. Um, there could be you know, surprises, people reaching out who haven't, people, uh, and then people that, you know, just suddenly fall, fall by the wayside too. Eclipses are like that. There's, um, it can bring such um, clarity and insight to the surface so quickly that it often precipitates some sort of event or shift, you know, and depending on the strength of your partnerships and the ability to communicate them, you know, it'll show who can withstand it and who doesn't. So, that being said, I'm just going to tune in with my guides and see is there any more that we need to share with Libra for this month. So Libra for July. Any other messages? I'm getting a feeling of um, being a little more firm and stubborn. Um, not letting people push you around as much, if you are. And I feel that um, if you need to put your foot down and you're more angry, then you normally don't like to be angry. You don't like conflicts. So if you're feeling the need to do that, there's probably a really good reason to do that. Um, I just sort of saw a slight putting the foot down, like, no, <laughs> kind of moment there. So take a look for that, and don't be shy to put your foot down. Um, is there anything else for Libra this month, for July? Well, see some sort of party or celebration. Uh, maybe it's a festival or a party. See a lot of, like, uh, people around and flowers and food and stuff and maybe balloons or... I mean, it is the season for that in the summer, but maybe there's a special thing that you're going to uh, that's celebratory. Um, it feels really high, highly festive and fun. So that's exciting for you. Other than that, like, let the doors close that need to and let let the universe open new ones for you and center yourself and be strong and don't be w afraid this on a month like this if the boat rocks a little bit it's all going to be fine so i'm going to uh, offer you if you have the need for a personal reading to message me below the video or reach me at clairvoyant medium katherine allen on facebook or you can look at my website river-rain.com and you'll find all the services I offer, and you can hear my podcasts if you so choose. So I hope you have a wonderful month, Libra.